In this video I'm going to show you 10 awesome Mac apps I use daily while managing my WordPress sites and also I'm gonna show you two browser based tools which are also awesome. Some of those apps are free and some of them are paid. Nevertheless if you're interested then jump in because it's gonna be a fun ride. Okay let's start. First tool I use daily is local. If you don't know what is local, then it's a WordPress development tool which allows you to build WordPress sites in your computer. For example, if I open the tool up, as you see, I have a bunch of sites here. For example, the one I used to test Bloxy team related stuff, I can open it up, log in automatically and build my sites here. I can clone the site with all the teams and plugins and settings. I can export them and so on. I'm not gonna go over every feature it has, but trust me, if you're a WordPress user or WordPress developer, then local is a tool to go. And what's especially good is that the tool is free for everyone. So no issues with the price here. Next tool I use every day is Sizi. What is Sizi? It's a tool which allows me to test my sites on a different screens. For example, iPhone 8. I can rotate it, I can scroll it and test in every way. I can open up the iPhone 11 view, iPad, for example, MacBook Air, smaller laptop and so on. There is a device drawer here and I can select whatever device I would like to test it out, Galaxy S7 Edge and so on. I use usually iPhone 8, 11, iPad, MacBook and laptop and this should cover all the responsive views I need. There are also some other nifty features, for example I can take a screenshot of the screen here. Let's take a look and there it is. I can record video, I can record GIF. And I can even inspect the elements here. So as you see, like a user browser, I can inspect and test out some CSS modifications, for example. So, awesome tool. Sizi is not free tool. It costs 6 euros per month or yearly, approximately 45 euros per year. And you can test two weeks for free. Good tool. I use it a lot. Next one is called Image Optim and it's free tool. And what will it do? Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to open up a folder with a bunch of images here. Let's open the app itself and let's see the preferences. Here I can customize whether to strip the metadata from images and what kind of compression or optimization engines are used. I can set up the quality and optimization level and usually I use it in a way like this. I select the images, right click services and click on image optimize. At the moment let's test it out. I'm gonna paste all the images in the folder here. So image optimize, let's do. As you see with a couple of seconds it optimized my images some of them 14%, some of them 44% and so on. Now the question is whether the quality got hit. So let's take a look. This is an optimized image and I'm gonna open up the original image. So do you see any differences here? Well, I don't. And with a couple of clicks I optimized all my images for the web. And once again Image Optim is a free tool so go ahead and take a look at it. Since we're already talking about image optimization, then let's take a look at the next tool. It's called XN Convert. And it's also a free tool. So I'm gonna open it up. Now I'm gonna drag some images here. I can choose whether to show them as a small thumbnail, speak thumbnail or list. I can add folder with a button or drag and drop. I can remove some of the images and so on. Now let's take a look at the actions. All the images I added here are in a full HD size. So I would like to convert them 
in a way that the width is 1024 pixels and the height is automatically set using the width or I can set the height of the image is 600 pixels shortest side longest side fill width and height and so on so let's test it out file name I'm gonna choose the location by clicking here I'm gonna go to the desktop images untitled folder another folder here and let's convert with a couple of seconds it's done and those images are here as you see 224 pixels is the width once again awesome tool and free for everyone to use next app is called drop over and what will it do take a look I move my cursor on the image, I'm gonna shake it, drop the image here, and now I can download it like this, either into my computer or I can drop it even directly to my site. So let's test it out. Let's imagine that I would like to drop this image directly into my post. So I can either shake it and drop it here or I can use a shortcut. I'm gonna drop the image here, open up the page, drop it here and done with a couple of clicks. Really awesome tool, I really like it. Unfortunately it's not a free tool but the price is really reasonable, only four US dollars. So let's open up the app itself so you could see what happens here. I can choose whether to activate with a shakes gesture I can set up the ignored applications, launch at login and so on. I can share the cl cloud, for example, let's take a look. If I drop this image here, I can copy drop over link, set the expiration date, share, open link, and I can share this link with you, for example, if I would like you to download this image here bunch of options here and as I said awesome tool I use it basically every day next app is called handbrake and it's an open source video transcoder I'm gonna open it up it's a free tool and let's test it out I'm gonna insert the video select web optimized and now if I press on start it's gonna transcode it and usually it's approximately 50 to 70 percent smaller file without any loss of the quality so if you're messing with the videos and uploading them to your site then handbrake is a tool you need and once again it's a free tool next tool is not free and it's called forklift and forklift is a FTP client for your Mac I'm not gonna make a big overview about it it works in a way that one good FTP client should work I can browse everything, I can upload, download, set the permissions and so on. As I said, it's not a free tool. It costs approximately $30, but it's worth every cent. Next app is called Paste. What will the paste do? Okay, I'm gonna open it up and as you see, everything I have copied making this video is here. So if you do lots of copying and pasting, then paste is a tool you can't replace. For example, if I put this text here and open up the app, as you see it's here, I can just copy and paste it. I can take a look at the history I have done today. I can search, for example, false. It's some kind of snippet with con which contains this one here. I can just copy it and paste it where it needs to be pasted. I can create folders. For example, maybe I would like to create the snippets folder. Now I just drop this one into the snippets folder and it's always there. One way to use it to create the email templates, for example. There are a bunch of email templates here. I'm just gonna copy it. And if I write the email or some kind of document, I can just paste this one here with all the formatting paste is a subscription paste app 
and it costs $15 per year. And with some other apps I have showed you today, I consider it worth every penny I pay. This is a tool I use every day. Next app is called Snippets Lab, and this app I use to save all my snippets. For example, Bloxy Team Snippets, Cadence Team Snippets, Generate Press Team Snippets, WooCommerce Snippets. For example, how to display a Back to Shop button on checkout or card pages, how to enable catalog mode and so on. Those are the snippets I sometimes need and instead of searching th them from the web, I just open up my snippets lab and copy it from here. If I need to create another snippet, I just click on plus, give it a name, some snippet, paste this one here, and it's located under the WooCommerce snippet. If I would like to move it somewhere else, for example under the Astra, I can just do that. At the moment I'm going to delete it and go back to the status I was before. What I really like about the Snippets Lab is that it's going to sync all the snippets between my computers. At the moment I'm behind my Mac Mini, but if I open up my MacBook Pro, all the snippets I created or added today are synced to the MacBook Pro also. It costs you a $10 one-time purchase. And once again, I have to repeat myself, worth every penny. So, next one new file menu it costs you two dollars one time purchase and what will it do it will add a menu on your finder and you can create all sorts of documents here for example if i would like to create a word document i just click on it give it a name save it and it will open up if i open the app up i can set up the templates and I can set the file types I need to show on my menu. For example, maybe I would like to show PHP file, then OK. I'm going to just select it, close it, and it's there. Click it, give it a name, index.php, save. It creates the file and opens it up. For two bucks it's an awesome tool and makes my work much easier. Okay, the next one is browser based. It's a Photopea, or maybe it's pronounced Photopea, I don't know, but nevertheless it's a basically an online photo editor similar to the Photoshop. So let's drag an image here and now I can manipulate or edit it in a way I would like. I can add another layer here and so on. Let's adjust the brightness and the other layer. Once again, I'm not going to bother you with the long explanations. I hope you'll get the point. For example, if I want to erase the sky here, I can do it with a couple of clicks. And now with the paint bucket tool, I can just paint it in a way I want. Just a quick overview of the, this tool. Totally free, although there is also a ad-free version. It costs you uh, $3.33 per month. Free version has all the features. Premium version has all the features and no ads, and you have two times more steps in history. But I guess for the most users who need a simple photo editor, this will do the trick. And the last one here, it's called Background Remover, and it's tool offered by Deposit Photos. Now let's test it and give it a go. I'm going to just drag a, an image here. It's going to upload. It takes a couple of seconds. Also pay attention at that it has a max file size limit, it's a 15 megabytes. And this is the end result. So I'm going to show what was the original image. This is the original image. And this one is an image with a removed background. I also uploaded another image. This one here. And this one is the original. 
So, as you saw, with a couple of clicks, the background is removed and I can download the image. Also pay attention that in order to download the original size images, you have to have a deposit photos account. You don't have to be a paying customer, just you need an account. I have also made a video about the awesome Chrome extensions for the WordPress users. If you're interested, then take a look at the video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Now, before you go, press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and take care.